Good Friday morning, Glads. I'm Spencer Walter. And I'm Jeremiah Jones, and this is your KWHS News. November college visits kick off next week, so get your calendar ready for these dates. Remember, you do need a pass to attend these visits during advisory and at lunch. Here's the lineup. On Tuesday, November 6th, the University of Wyoming reps will be here, followed by Luther College on Wednesday, November 7th. The next week, on November 13th, the reps from Fort Hayes State will be here, and then on the 15th, the reps from UCCS are scheduled to visit us. After Thanksgiving, visit with the reps from Adam State Grizzlies who will visit us on November 29th. Students, if you are behind in credits or think that smaller class sizes might be the answer to your high school success, then you should attend the information session for Discovery High School on Thursday, November 8th. The presentation will be during advisory and you need to check in at the Counseling Center for your pass to attend this event. If you missed any of these dates, check out the Counseling Center calendar or go to their website. And now we're heading to the sports desk for our Gladiator Sports Update with Corinne McAfee. We made it to Friday morning, Glads. I'm Kroon McAfee, and this is your Gladiator Sports Update. Our Gladiator football team has its final game of the season tonight at 7 p.m. at CA Foster against the Coronado Cougars. Come out and support our football team. And thanks to all the players, managers, and athletic trainers for their hard work this season. We appreciate all your efforts this season. We'll have the score for you on Monday. Best of luck to our mighty Gladiator marching band. They are headed to the U.S. Air Force Academy today to compete in the state quarterfinals. If you can go out to support them, they would appreciate it. In forensics news, our team is headed to Woodland Park tomorrow for the meet called Bring Home the Gnome. Good luck to our forensics team. We hope to see that gnome on our trophy case on Monday. Winter season sports practices for basketball, wrestling, and girls swimming start on November 12th. If you are planning to try out and then play, pick up your sports packet with your physical form in the main office. When you return your packet, you will receive your yellow participation card. If you already have a physical on file, pick up your yellow cards now in the main office. Do not wait until the last minute to turn in your paperwork and get your card because if you do, you will not be allowed to practice. In basketball news, the boys' basketball preseason camp started yesterday. If you're interested in trying out for the team, check in with Miss Miles so you can connect with Coach Johnson on camp information. Our ladies' basketball team also starts their basketball camp next week on Monday, November 5th, and it runs through Thursday, November 8th from 3 o'clock to 4.45 p.m. in the small gym. If you're interested in trying out for this team and want to dust off your skills, come to the camp. Glads, sign-ups for the Gents Volleyball Tournament will close today. The cost to enter your 6-8 to eight member team is just $5, and the games start on Monday in the small gym during lunch. Bring in canned goods to watch the game or be prepared to pay $1 per day. You can buy a pass for $3 to catch all the games for the week. Sign up on the sheet outside room 103. That's it for your Friday Gladiator Sports Update. I'm Corinne McAfee. Go out and support your Gladiator teams this week. Now back to Spencer and Jeremiah for more news. Thanks for the update, Corinne. The drama department production of Dracula, the fall play, will run next week on November 9th and 10th at 7 p.m. in the auditorium. Tickets are three dollars for students and five dollars for adults come out and support your gladi actors and speaking of drama if you're planning to audition for little women auditions will be held on november 13th and 14th after school in the auditorium when you sign up for your audition time be sure to pick up a monologue and a song which are on the theater and choir room doors if you have any questions or need more details please see miss caps or mr larson hey glads it's november and guess what that's right, many of you have not returned your pink federal aid form. Word on the street is that about 300 to 400 forms are still out, and we cannot stress how critical these are to our school. Bring your completed form to your first hour teacher or directly to the attendance office. And now here's our lunch crew with our lunch menu for today and Monday. Happy Friday! I'm so glad you could make it today. And you know lunch is going to be incredibly good today. Because what's for lunch on Friday? Super nachos for lunch on Friday. And that's today. Yes. That's today, Super today. Nachos. So you'll enjoy it. And back and to Monday. Back to Monday. Monday. Monday we're having roasted chicken. Roasted chicken on Monday, Monday. Mashed potatoes and oh, I like that song too. Monday, Monday. That's all words I 
know I'm sorry. But hey, I'll see you Monday for roasted chicken. Thanks and have a great one. Bye. Thanks, Miss Betsy. Students, if you have outstanding lunch charges, please pay them in the cafeteria or go online to add money to your account. The National Honor Society has tutoring sessions every Thursday. If you need a little help with papers, a class, or sharpening your study skills, come to the library to sign up for a session. Remember to pick up your pass. Finish up the semester on a strong note. Also, attention NHS members, new and old, you have a meeting today at lunch in the library. If you are not able to make it, please see Mrs. HK for meeting information. Gleds, you still have time to order your book before the price goes up at the end of this month. You can order your yearbook in the business office or go to yearbookforever.com and order online. The cost is $55. Seniors, Herf Jones is here today in the lower comments to take your cap and gown orders as well as orders for your class rings and graduation announcements. Remember, all orders must be placed by Thanksgiving. You can also place your order online. Student government is hosting the Harvest of Giving food drive from November 5th through the 16th. All donations collected will be used by the 180 Club for their annual food drive. Please be generous as all of these donations go to families of students in our school. Bring your donations to Miss Melton in room 103 and put them in your class box so you can earn Charlie Cup points. Additionally, we have some dress up days to have some fun with this event. Here's the calendar of dress up days for next week. Monday's opposite day. Pick a partner and dress as opposites, or just be different. Tuesday is the first day of kindergarten. Show us what you got by wearing what you wore your first day of school. Wednesday is decades day. Select a decade and like totally dress up like it. Listen, it could be groovy or like, you know, lame-o, whatever. Thursday is character day. No, not like honesty or virtue, but like Bart Simpson or that guy from Rick and Morty. Yeah, that's it. Friday is color wars day. Wear your class color. Remember, your class earns points for this one. Also, remember that you can come watch the Gents Volleyball Tournament for free if you bring in a canned good. That's it for our Friday edition, Glads. I'm Spencer Walter. Remember to set your clocks back one hour on Saturday night as daylight saving time ends. And I'm Jeremiah Jones, and this was your KWHS News. Have a great weekend.